video, I'm doing the beauty things that I suck at tag. I've had a lot of fun watching other people do this tag, especially the people that I've been watching a lot on YouTube that I think are like amazing at makeup and all this other stuff. And then it's fun to watch what they think they don't do well or things that they know they don't do well or they just don't try to do and you think, oh, like I suck at that too, I'm not the only one. It's fun to know what other people think they're not good at, what people who you think are like perfect when it comes to makeup also can't do. They also struggle with things. They're not perfect. So I am nowhere near perfect at doing my makeup. I think I'm halfway decent. I have fun with it, but um, in case you want to know, these are the things that I consider myself to suck at. I tried to come up with 10 to give you enough sort of things to listen to, but so that this movie didn't go on. This movie. This video didn't go on for ages. So number one, eyebrows. Anything that has to do with eyebrows. <laughs> Shaping them, filling them in, grooming them, anything. You suck at it. They're, I don't know, this is as good as it gets. As far as my eyebrows go, if I let them go, they would honestly be like two giant that straight across fuzzy caterpillars on my face out of control and I have a bit of problems taming them um, I don't want uberly thin eyebrows but I really don't have much shape to work with like I don't have much of a natural arch like they would literally be straight across at the top and at the bottom so I've had to sort of make what I can of an arch but just no I usually don't even bother <clears throat> I just leave them alone they're already pretty thick and full, so if I tried to fill them in and make them even, they would just like stand out and be crazy on my face. So most days, I just leave them as is. I just pluck them and hope that they cooperate that day. Number two is liquid eyeliner. No, <laughs> not good at it. I think I own one traditional, like actually liquid eyeliner. I've maybe used it about once. I'm just not good at it. I don't have a steady enough hand to get a nice, even, straight line. I just can't do it. <clears throat> the other thing that goes with that is winging my liner out. Not good at it, whether it's gel, pencil, liquid, anything. I just, I've never been good at it. Maybe I think it's because the shape of my eyes, how they're kind of hooded, the wing sort of like stands out and that's all you can see and it looks kind of crazy or it like disappears into my hooded lid or whatever. Just not good at it. My version of liquid liner are like those little felt tip things that you basically just like draw a line on your eye, <laughs> like you're coloring. I can do that. Number three, I put down blush. And I mean this in the way that I tend to be red on my face already, which can sort of die down when I put my foundation on. And then when I go to put blush on, I'm always afraid that I don't want to like have clown cheeks. So I don't put a ton on and then I find I like get outside and I can't even see it. So I haven't yet found my happy medium where I'm not feeling like I'm overpowered with my blush, but you can actually still see it. And I don't want it to look like, hey, she's wearing blush, but you know, not to be one color across my whole face would be nice. Number four, getting a perfect lip outline. I can't do it with lipstick, can't do it with lip gloss, can't do it with a lip brush. I just can't do it. I'll get like a tiny little lip brush and dip it in and try and be super careful all the way around my lips. Just, it doesn't happen. I'll mess up somewhere. Down when it gets to the corners of my mouth, um, my lips get really thin, but I don't want the color to just stop like here, so I try and go all the way and then it'll like smudge around the outside or I'll go and touch it and smudge it and just ugh. And even if I try and then go back with like concealer and smudge around my concealer brush manages to like pick up the color that's on my lip and just smudge it and it always goes like just outside my lip line and just kind of looks like I've been eating a popsicle and the color has gone outside my lips it's just bad. Number five is keeping my nose from being red all the time. I have green concealer that I've used to try and cover up the redness and it just shines right on through. Doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't help that when I wear sunglasses, 
I get like the tan line here and my nose seems to be like the only thing that ever gets any sun. But my nose is always darker and redder than the rest of my face, which is so annoying. That's another issue that I think I have with my blush putting on-ness, whatever, is that I find that my nose is red. I don't want red like all over my face. I just want my nose to be the same color as the rest of my face and it never ever will happen. Number six is painting my nails cleanly. I am one of the girls that paint my nails, I'll just go all over the place and then I go back and I clean up after. Even when I try, like I physically try to paint my nails cleanly the first time using the little like put a dot on, push it up, bring it down, the three, no. It gets all over the sides of my fingers, all over the pads of my fingers. There's just nothing that can be done about it. That's what's going to happen when I do my nails. Number seven, doing anything with this mop of hair. This is about all that it will do. It doesn't listen to me when I try and do anything else. It's fine. It's straight. There's lots of it, but it's limp. It just, this is, it hangs and this is what it does. This is me getting out of the shower, putting it up in my little like towel turban thingy to dry it, putting a bit of mousse in when it's wet, and then blow drying it upside down. And this is as much volume as I get. <clears throat> I obviously need a trim, but I can curl my hair, put volumizing products in my hair, put dry shampoo in my hair, do anything to my hair, and this is what it looks like within five minutes of me trying to style it. It looks like this and it's super annoying. Number eight is tight lining slash waterline. I cannot for the life of me tight line, which is like, this is, might look creepy, but that little, like the equivalent of your waterline on the top eyelid, cannot do it. <clears throat> um, I've tried, I can get like a pencil in there, it's not too bad, I can do the outside of my eye. As soon as I get to the middle of my eye, to the inside, can't even get a pencil in there. Um, my eyes are really watery, so I find that even like the Urban Decay pencils that everybody uses, the color just doesn't even transfer onto my tight line. Um, I've seen people do it where they just like stick it there, close their eye, and just go whoop whoop, and it's done. And I don't know how they do that. I just cannot. I can't do it. And my waterline, the only thing that I can do there is use my Stila pencil um, in like it's called topaz, but it's like an, a nude color. I can get that on and that stays, but any color that I put on my um, waterline, my eyes water and it runs and it just like, it looks, it's bad. So, can't do those. <clears throat> Number nine is a really bad habit that I know that a lot of people on YouTube shared the same thing. I've seen this in a lot of other girls' videos and that is washing my makeup brushes. I'm so lazy when it comes to doing it. I hate doing it. It takes forever. I just, I really should wash them a lot more often than I do. And it's kind of gross. And I mean, I just washed them and I just was using um, like my Sigma, the um, flat top kabuki today to do my makeup. And when the brush is clean, like you forget how nicely these brushes put makeup on until you use it when it's freshly clean and you're like, oh yeah, this feels so nice. It puts my makeup on like flawlessly. Why do I not clean it again? And then I just won't do it because it takes forever and it's a pain in the butt. And my last one, I kind of went a little bit different from my 10th one. I decided to say branching out, which I mean, I have not by any means a large or extensive collection of makeup. But you know, I have a lot more products than I use on a daily basis, and I find that I always use the same ones over and over again. Which, I mean, I have these products because I like them and I want to use them, and I just don't. So, I really should, and I'm, I have sort of a new setup here. I need a couple more things to get it really organized, and then I'm gonna film um, a new collection. That was one of like my first videos ever that I filmed 
And I think a couple people commented that it was like roller coaster and they felt sick from watching it because I didn't know what I was doing and it was bad lighting and awkward situation. But when I get this sort of fixed up a bit more, I'll do an updated makeup collection um, video for you guys to show you what I have. But I mean, that's one of the reasons that I started my channel is because I do like playing around with makeup. I like to try new things. I just find that I don't on a day-to-day -day basis. I have my look that I'm comfortable with when I go out, my sort of neutral eye, maybe a bright color on the lip if I'm going somewhere fancy, and that's about it. But I have all these other, like I have a sleek palette full of really fun bright eyeshadows that are so gorgeous but I hardly ever use them. So I'm going to try and do more like branched out um, makeup tutorials and looks for you guys when I'm filming. I'm counting on you guys to hold me to that. So we're going to work on this together. I'm going to branch out. So anyways, after that long rambly response, those were the beauty things that I suck at. If you want to let me know what you think you suck at, let me know down below in the comments, leave a video response, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you like hearing what other people think they're not very good at, things that you might also not be very good at, and make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you like this video and you want to see more videos from me. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.